Welcome back. Ow. I literally just stabbed myself with a pencil. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> my dog sniffed my back and his nose is cold, so it felt so weird. Oh, you're so weird. Make out with me. <laughs> Can you see the shade that he's like literally throwing at me? Oh, I love you. So, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nicole. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Like, welcome back. Or if you're if it's your first time here, then hi. Welcome. <laughs> Today's video, I really don't want to make it a rant, but that's probably what it's going to end up being an actual rant because there's just some pet peeves that I have and I've seen a couple of youtubers do this and I'm just like you know what I'm gonna do that so my first pet peeve is is when people post videos of them abusing their animals this literally is my biggest pet peeve the animal YouTube community it's just like we're very protective over our animals. We want always the best to be promoted. We always want to like try to like promote the healthiest lives for animals. But here's the thing. There are some people who thinks it's funny to post a video of them abusing their animal. Like I don't get it. Like someone explain that to me because I really just do not understand. This one girl posted a video of her like throwing a guinea pig out the window or it was just like a couple of people and I try to report that video and you know what they said to me we do not see any problem with this video thank you for reporting it what come again excuse me I don't I don't get it I YouTube wants to be so particular about language and about the content that creators talk about they want everyone to be super family friendly and all of that stuff, which I applaud YouTube for. Like, I think that YouTubers should accommodate their audience and they have to realize who's watching the videos, but it's also, they have to be themselves. So how do you do that? Well, there's a, like this app, it's called YouTube kids. I heard, um, PewDiePie talk about, which everyone knows who PewDiePie is, but like, I heard him talk about it and I was like, that's so smart. Like, Parents should download that instead of YouTube on their kids' phones, like, or block certain content. But YouTube, it's not YouTube's job to do that. Because as creators, we need to tailor to our audiences. So if our audience wants to see that kind of content, then why not, why not make it what the people want to see? But when people post abusive videos, when people post, like, horrific videos it's fine youtube doesn't care because they're not talking it's just showing content like it just makes me really mad and i i don't know about this now but i know youtube has been getting better about like letting people do and like reporting stuff like i think that's great but like i just think it's crazy how youtube is just like doesn't care and this happened a year ago so i don't know if they've changed it or not but it just boggles my mind how people can abuse their animals so like blatantly and put it on the internet and then it becomes this whole social media blow but yet nothing happens to those people majority of the time so like what like someone i don't i don't understand my next pet peeve is people who post videos of their, their guinea pigs their dogs their horses whatever and the they're wrong like the information that they say is wrong. The information that they show is wrong. It just makes me crazy. This one girl, she like posted this video of her guinea pig cage tour. Cage tour, more like litter box tour. And she went on to say how she lets her guinea pigs out for playtime and all that kind of stuff, which she might, I don't know. She doesn't post any videos of her taking her out of playtime. But she didn't have any hay in her cage. She used the little vitamin C drops because I saw them in the background, which every like guinea pig YouTuber knows not to use those. So like what? I understand you want to post videos about your guinea pigs and how super cute they are. But the thing that makes me laugh, the thing that makes me be like, are you kidding? Is when you comment on their video and you're like, hey, I just want to let you know, like, 
the cage is too small or the vitamin C drop like are not good and they get mad and I'm like I'm just trying to help you like to give your guinea pig an actual life but I guess you don't really care about that so whatever but the funny thing is though is that majority of those people comment on other people's videos saying how badly they treat their animals or they come and they're like sub for sub I really liked your video subscribe to me which that freaking irks me so much because like no freaking no you uh, uh. for YouTube you have to be your authentic self you know what I mean you have to be yourself when I started my channel I was just like I didn't I wasn't here for the subscribers the views the likes I was here because I loved guinea pigs and I loved animals and I wanted to teach people about animals and when people start doing this whole sub for sub thing it's just people don't care you know what I mean like they just want to get subscribers to what get money like that's not how YouTube works for one and for two like you want the attention like I don't understand people will watch your videos if they like your authentic self but I'm just saying like you have to be your authentic self YouTube is supposed to be fun that's what it is for me and I'm almost at 100 subscribers which I never thought in the world I'd be in which I'll make a video about that because I was in a pretty dark time when I made like started making videos and the reason why I got guinea pigs in the first place but I just like I don't understand don't do the sub for sub thing because it just makes you look pathetic and sure they'll subscribe to you but then they'll unsubscribe and I just don't understand this whole competition for subscribers just make your content